Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. My name's Tom Novak, and today we're going to do a crab apple repot out of a root maker's pot. Here's the crab apple and the root maker's pot. And today we're going to use a free draining mix of one part worm castings, one part peat moss, one and a half parts torpedo sand. One and a half parts sifted perlite and a teaspoon of azos. I ran out of miko, so I have to order more. The seedling was started last year, and I put the small seedling in in uh, May of 2020. This is about one year's growth. As you can see, it grew pretty good. The only thing I'm going to do before repotting it, I'm going to dip. I'm going to clip this one dead branch off. It's about there, but we can have like a multiple trunk and maybe we can start this as a seedling because this is the best time to do your seedlings. I mean to do your uh, rootings, your cuttings because these had a good month and a half of growth from April to May. So this is a little bit of a hardwood cutting, but we'll try that out later. Let me just let it sit in water until I can get a pot for it later. So let's take this crab apple out of the root maker's pot. I use pencil. I find out it works pretty good on the, on the labels. So let's see if we can get it out. I know these can be difficult getting them out of a root maker's pot, but it's well worth it. But all you got to do is take your chopstick and push it through the hole there, and it'll help push the tree right out. Chopstick's got a nice flat end on it. They break apart, and that's what you use. There we go. Let's put our pot to the side. And you can see how the roots are growing. So let's wash it out in, a, in our bucket and see what we got here. And we got the makings of a good root, root base. So let me get my little back scratcher that I use for a root rake, root, a root rake and just rake it gently. Well, it's got a nice, nice structure going here. That might be a little too harsh. I'll take my chopstick. Okay, what do we got here now? We only got one root that try to circle itself. So I don't know how much is on there, but we're going to have to take that out and get rid of it so we can have a nice radial root base. That must have been a tap root, hitting all those bumps and curves. Let's wash it again. This way here we can see where we're at. And there's our roots. Pretty good. Nice root base on this. So we're going to take our shears and cut the knotted piece off. We don't want to take all our roots off. We're going to take this downward one coming down. Out. And we got a knotted one growing like a tangled piece of spaghetti here. So I'll get in there and clip that little knot out. By doing that, there's another piece that's a little bit twisted. So we'll get that out of there. And cut this here because it's still got a U-shape. I don't know if you can see it. So we'll get that out of the way. And the rest we can push out flat. Now since we took a lot off of this, we have to 
dip and clip off our stems to make it a little shorter. So what I do is, if you don't know where to cut, just go down with your scissors, you'll hit the leaves with your shears, and you get a nice little cut. Just go down and hit it. Now I'm going to try taking some cutting it as it take and root, root these cuttings and see what we get later on. I think I'll just put it in a mixture of sand and vermiculite, but we'll try it out. And now's a good time to do it. We got the heat and everything. So see, all we got to do now is just let these roots fan out. Our tree is nice and short. We're going to let it sit in the water until we get our pot ready. Wipe our hands. Get our tray clean. Okay, I got my pot. I just rewashed it. Got my screen on the inside. We'll take our free draining mix. Hold our screen down. And just plop it in. It's a nice, I don't know, it's a nice light mix if you can see it. Real light and fluffy. So now, let's take our tree out. And move our roots around. I'm not going to worry about a front because right now I want this tree to grow. want it to grow. We want these roots to spread out. So all you do is put your mix in real good. We'll take our small bamboo skewer and poke the soil into the roots to get rid of all the air pockets. Push it down. I get my smaller cup and just sprinkle it around. Make sure it's in good and solid. There we go. Take your root rate or your bamboo skewer. Hit it a little bit more. Let's get some water on it. Now the water is going to go make the soil go down a little bit. It's all right. Don't be afraid to work with it. You got to get your hands dirty. You don't get your hands dirty, you don't learn. You don't feel like you accomplished something. That's the way I feel. At least you get something, something going for you here. Now I'm going to take some Azus. My little bottle, even though I mixed it and get the pinch around the roots there so we can get that beneficial bacteria growing. And we're going to take a little of our top dressing and put it on there. Now you can see by doing it, it's, it's nice and solid. It's not going to blow out. At least I don't think it is. But we'll put a couple of rocks around it for now. Let me get my little plastic spoon out. Now my top dressing, I just got one part sand, one part peat moss, and one part uh, worm castings. Just to dress it up a little bit. I got a little stone here. Let's see if we can get a, the dark will clash with 
the black, but we'll put the white one in there for the heck of it. I'll cut a couple of more little white ones. You can put it on there. And that's about it on the white stones. And we'll put a nice little flat one in the back to help, help contain the moisture into the soil. So let's just get this going. Remember, you can take cuttings now because this tree was growing nice. You could see the growth on it. But you always, when you cut a lot of raw off, you got to cut some of the top off too because it's not going to support it. So let's see if let's see what happens. It grows, it grows, but it should. We didn't do too much on the roots except to take all them curly cues off. But it did grow nice and tight. There we go. Got another little white one in there. Take our soil, put it around there, a little bit of tap dressing. Take our little squirt bottle. See, plain and simple. Give it a good watering. Let the water soak in. Take your finger. You can push some of the soil around your stones. So they look like they're not just sitting on top. Get all that soil into your, back into your pot. Now we're going to let this sit in shade. I'm going to leave it in the shade outside so it can get some vigor. There we go. Now the cuttings Let's see I got, if I can find a little pot, I'll show you how to do one real fast. Get all my stuff out of the way so we can see what's going on. And I have a pot right here. And all I'm going to do is take some uh, sand, put it in, put the sand in. That's all we're going to use to root a cutting. Throw that in there. Pack it in real good. Just like that. There we go. Get one of our cuttings out. Now remember, you take the, we're going to take, and here's your brain right here. So just clip it at a 45. I'm going to cut this one off and this one off and just leave these top ones on. And now, if I can find my rooting hormone, here it is. I'm way low on this, so I have to buy more. If I had a full one, I wouldn't have been dipping it in the... Uh, and the container could I, so I wouldn't want to contaminate it. So all we're going to do is take our skewer, poke a hole, stick it all the way to the bottom, pat it down, get our water bottle, water it, and that's it. And then I'll take my tag and I'll put another date on it. But something easy and simple to do. So we got a nice batch of roots out of the root maker pot. We only had some curly cues there. I don't know what they they started from, but at least we got rid of them. And there's a little crab apple tree. Nicely potted. Put it in the shade until it starts growing again. Here's our cutting. And you can do it. You can get nice little trees for free. So, and then your crab apple seeds, 
I mean, you pick the little crab apples, take the seeds. And some of them grow, some of them don't, but that's, say, that's life. So right now it's Monday, it's comedy night. You can uh, turn on some old-time radio with a nice hot cup of tea, sit back and relax. I know it's hot, but ah, what are you going to do? I enjoy a hot cup of tea. Put on Jack Benny, the Bickersons, uh, Fibber McGee and Molly, uh, Duffy's Tavern, whatever your pleasure is, whatever your great comedy pleasures are. So you have a good day, and thank you for coming to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors, and don't be afraid. Try it out. The only way you learn. <laughs>